secure, I went ahead and mounted uh, the hinges on the aileron and it's pretty much the same process. Um, basically just uh, gluing the hinges to the control surface with epoxy I used E00NS and then sticking them into the surface and gluing those. And what I like to do is just put a little bit of WD-40 on the on the uh, pin right there where it actually pivots that way epoxy doesn't stick to it and even if you get some on there because it's WD-40 you can just work the surface loose so we're working on the aileron um, servo and what I'd like to show here is first of all you have your accessories bag for ailerons and in there you'll find some hardware and obviously um, your linkages uh, I guess there's four of them and you have to press in the brass inserts into the plastic um, and then you'll find the screws that you can use to secure the cap or the cover onto, um, onto the wing so secure this guy onto the wing um, and so what I had to do here is basically feel out the, the surface here uh, and figure out where the opening is, cut through the film on both sides, so the wing and the control surface. And as you can see, I have roughed up my uh, my control surface horn here and just test fit, it fits great, so I'm gonna epoxy that. Uh, and then the next thing is obviously the servo. So the servo size that you need in here is uh, a mini servo. I'm gonna be using the DS uh, the GW uh, 396 MG and those guys are a perfect fit um, as you can see so it'll fit just right let's get that in there there we go so you can see um, that that'll fit just fine obviously the arm here needs to go into the wing but that's the size of a uh, servo that you're, you're looking at so I'm gonna mount this um, and then show you what the end result looks like so here's all the stuff that we'll need to do that so you have the control arm uh, the two ball links that we'll need your servo and your control horn so I'll get that all set up and show you the end result. The uh, servo has been installed and this is just the beginning because now that I've figured out the positioning I'm going to take these guys out, the four screws out. You want to drop CA into those holes to form up the threads. So here's my CA and I'm just going to go and uh, dab all the spots where the screws are going to go in. And that should really firm up uh, those uh, those threads. So here is the aileron servo, and what I've done is set up my uh, linkage. And you can see um, of my 25 tooth horn, I'm using um, the uh, lowest hole. Let's see if I can get that focus. There we go. And I just ground this down a little bit because it was rubbing on the surface. Um, the ball and here rubs a little bit but that's fine um, and inserting this is a bit of a pain I haven't figured out a better way uh, other than to just have it mounted on the servo and then sort of slide it in underneath that way uh, just like that and uh, the other thing that I'm doing a little bit differently from the manual is the manual calls for essentially uh, the this linkage being mounted on this side of the of the horn, but the geometry doesn't seem like it's working out. So the manual calls for this being mounted on this side, but it just doesn't work out. So I'm going to mount it on this side of the horn, and on this side of the servo seems to be much better. Um, other thing to note is this opening right here. The angle of this doesn't work out too well, um, so if you want to get the 17 millimeters of travel um, that they recommend from the aileron, then you have to open that up a little bit, and especially on the inside because just the angle 
um, this angle at which the, the rod goes in, it just doesn't work very well through all the range of the servo. So um, I, I wouldn't be surprised if folks just decided to like stick this out and you know go through the servo cover and go straight like that. But I'm gonna just do it the way the manual does it. So we're gonna screw this down and then aileron's gonna be done. So here is so here is that uh, aileron servo moving, and as you can see, if you look right in here, um, there is a limit before you just break right through the surface. This is why I'm saying it's not the best design. But when I look at this travel here, this is bigger than 17 millimeters, so I think it's about 21. So as long as that's plenty of aileron, I should be okay. But um, I wouldn't be surprised if folks considered just doing it the other way and completely just having this stick out the servo cover and out the back um, for much more, uh, you know, control through if you needed it. Result. Aileron is complete, flaps are complete, uh, just the wiring harness is left now.